In this video, I'll show you an easier way to sell products by weight in WooCommerce. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I'll show you how you can add a predefined pricing options for your customers similar to this one here, or we can even allow them to enter in a custom amount in KG and then charge them accordingly for it. For example, if we say we want 10 kg and the price is $300 since we're charging $30 per kg, or we can just go ahead and select a predefined amount, right? We've also got the option to create complex pricing formulas, right? So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com, go ahead and download the AOVUP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and actually create our products and then we'll go ahead and add our weight options to it. So I'm just going to head over to products. So we're going to fill in the product details and we'll just set it as a simple products and then we'll just hit publish. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to set the price to zero because we'll go ahead and add our weight based pricing options later on. Let's hit publish. All right, now let's navigate over to AOVUP and then product add-on. We'll go ahead and create a new option set. We'll give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. Then we get to choose which product we wanna apply this pricing option to. So we can set it to all, or we can set it to a specific product. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select our almonds product. All right, and let's go ahead and add our option set. So I'm selecting label and swatches, and this will be our predefined packs. And now we'll create our weight based bundle. For example, for my almond products, I want to sell it in 250 grams, 500 grams, and 1 kg. And I want to price those differently. So let's create our first option, which is 250 grams. And now we'll go ahead and set the price in for this option. So we'll select price and then we'll select increase the price. And now we'll go ahead and specify the pricing for this 250 gram packet of almond. So I'll say $12. Now I'm going to add our two other predefined options again, which is 500 grams. And we'll do the same. We'll set the pricing. So for this one, let's say it's $18. And then finally, let's add our last predefined option, which will be 1 kg. Okay, let's go ahead and add the price in here. And now let's create an option so the customers can actually enter in how much grams or kg they want, right? So we'll add a new field and then we'll create a numbers field. For the field label, we can say other amount. And then for the label, we can say enter weight in kg, for example. Okay, and the pricing for this will be slightly different. So when we click on price here, we want to change the price. And then this time, instead of setting a fixed amount, so we'll increase it by multiplying the value in which the customers entered, right? So for example, if we know that we're charging $30 per kg, then here we can enter in 30, right? So if they enter in one kg in a numbers field, then we'll charge $30 for that. And obviously it will increase accordingly, okay? We can create more complex pricing formulas, but that's for a different video. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link on screen to that video that shows you how to create more complex pricing formulas. All right, so let's save changes. So now when we go ahead and view our almonds product, we should be able to see our new pricing option. So let's check that out now. Okay, so here we've got our predefined option. So the user can select 30 grams and a charge accordingly and so on, right? Or they can enter in a custom amount. For example, I can say I need 5 kg of this particular product. And here we can see the pricing is $150, right? Since it's $30 um, per kg. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box.